uh, Prime Minister Modi's uh, Egyptian uh, visit uh, was much awaited, and now uh, we have seen uh, how Prime Minister was warmly welcomed by the uh, people in Egypt. Now, Prime Minister had the first meeting uh, where he has um, met uh, senior leadership of Egyptian government, uh, led by Mohammed Al Fatah Sisi, and he's met uh, met the cabinet uh, ministers, uh, the Prime Minister of Egypt, uh, and this is the, these are the interaction that will uh, you know pave way to what Prime Minister Modi and uh, Mr. Sisi, when they'll be having bilateral talks tomorrow, they will be discussing the uh, meeting. Uh, the, the senior cabinet ministers uh, in uh, Egypt will also have, Prime Minister will also have discussion on the areas of cooperation that India and Egypt can uh, have. Egypt is looking forward to having more agric uh, agricultural cooperation in terms of uh, import of food grains or processed food. Uh, then there are IT professional or the sector engineering sector is something uh, that Egypt is uh, looking forward to. Uh, currently, about $7.2 billion is the uh, level of bilateral trade that the two sides are having. And how to enhance that? Because uh, this is not the reflecting the true potential of bilateral trade that India and Egypt can have. Uh, so this is also one of the areas where two sides will be discussing the uh, area where they can deepen their uh, you know, partnership in new areas where uh, new opportunities can be explored. Uh, and uh, uh, this, this is coming at a time when we have seen uh, Egypt, uh, you know, uh, becoming a very major player in Africa. So having a good relationship, having a very good commerce and trade linkages with Egypt can actually open the gate uh, for the rest of Africa also for Indian entities, Indian companies or Indian government, uh, you know, subsidiaries who will have businesses in Egypt and they can further uh, go up in Africa uh, to other countries as well. Uh, we have seen a several, uh, you know, uh, then, uh, I mean, uh, uh, apart from the business and trade dialogue that Prime Minister would certainly have with the Egyptian counterpart, there are other aspects of uh, politics uh, and security also where Egypt and India are dealing uh, with the common challenges of radicalism and uh, terrorism. Right. And this is... Right. Abhishek, yes, important to also put this into context uh, for the Egyptian economy, which has been dwindling in quite some time. In fact, it was just two days ago that President uh, Abdel Fattah al-Sisi had requested all global lenders to understand the situation of the economy as economic pressures are only mounting uh, with each passing month on Egypt. What can India do and bring to the table to sort of rescue uh, e e Egypt's dwindling economy? Uh, so there can be a couple of, uh, you know, steps that India may take that India has taken with the other uh, countries in uh, the immediate neighborhood also. Also, uh, that is to extend a line of credit, uh, that is to uh, promise new projects where Indian investment would be there. Uh, that could be in IT sector, that could be in food processing tech sector, uh, that can be in sectors like tourism. Uh, tourism is another sector where Egypt is a very booming uh, economy and, in fact, uh, the, one of the major reasons why Egypt, Egypt's economy has faced the uh, you know, recent dwindling down is because the COVID pandemic in the, in the last three years, there hasn't been uh, much of the tourism. And uh, you know, most of the countries uh, where uh, you know, uh, the substantial income or revenue generation used to be the part of hospitality in the hospitality industry or the service, service industry, they have uh, faced this brunt of COVID. And Egypt is also uh, partly... Uh, face the brunt of COVID pandemic in terms of revenue generation in the hospitality sector. So how can uh, these be revived and what can Indian uh, you know, sectors uh, do or Indian businessmen can do uh, in tourism and hospitality sector is another right. area. Uh, also, the you know people-to-people -people engagement, academic exchange programs, scholarship is something that India has been extending to the students of Egypt. And uh, more seats or more fellowships or more scholarship is something that Egypt uh, is looking forward to have for their own students uh, for higher studies in India as well. Right. Abhishek, Egypt faces an increasingly tough task when it comes to raising cash to meet its foreign debt repayments after external borrowing, which has only quadrupled over the past eight years. Uh, when we talk about India's support, uh, that certainly can only happen through bilateral trade, which you rightly mentioned has not been meeting uh, up to the level that perhaps India and Egypt hope to make it reach. Uh, what are those key areas of strategic cooperation and partnership when e India and Egypt speak about that strategic partnership? You know, strategic, uh, first of all, uh, strategic, uh, you know, partnership, we can think uh, Indo-Pacific is one area where India is uh, 
clearly looking for uh, forward to having more like-minded countries uh, because of the you know upcoming challenges that is coming from the side of China uh, for obvious dom- reason of dominating uh, that region where world well, 60% of global trade happens uh, and this is uh, this is a concern that India Australia USA and uh, the, the other quad partner Japan has expressed in the past that they do see the potential of this trade route at the same time they do anticipate uh, a very aggressive and dominant china trying to capture or you know uh, you know deal with the region as per its own convenience and as per its own benefit and this is something that the world's uh, major power or major economies are uh, fearing and they are trying to keep that area free open and uh, you know independent for all uh, other than that there is a defense partnership that is that has been very much there between india and egypt Indian uh, organization or Indian defense institutes have been uh, training senior officials of Egyptian army for a very long time now. So uh, that the level of trust has been very deep. India has recently uh, tried to pitch itself as an uh, as a as a defense exporter or manufacturer which can supply essential uh, you know ammunit- uh, ammunition and advanced uh, weaponry to uh, hard- military hardware to other countries. Uh, there have been certain dealings in the past uh, with major countries and. Egypt right. could also be one of the destinations where Indian arms export can uh, can be can go. I'm sure a host of uh, critical and crucial uh, agreements will be uh, signed between the two nations. And with that.